Do you have questions? I have no questions. I've okay. Either side, Bob. No questions. Mary. No. No, I have no questions. You have a listing of people that want to speak. I live at 5476 Red Wing Circle, Port Orange at Crane Lakes, and I'm representing about 450 homeowners association members there, reference to saving the fire department's pension plans. And if you go by the step tier that he wants to do, you're gonna, we're going to end up going back to Mayberry and have volunteer firefighters here that are going to be trying to save homes, save brushes, fires, save lives. It's not going to work. I saw them in person with the house fire in Crane Lakes. The house was fully involved. The homeowner came back. She said her dogs were in there. Who else would run in to a burning house and pull out three dogs and resuscitate all three of them, except for the Port Orange Fire Department? I'm very, very proud of them, and I hope you give, give them what they deserve. Thank you. Did you, what was the comments about Ted? He had huh? comments. He didn't check. I'm confused. We can proceed with it. Ted did not check which he wanted to speak for, so they put him in the city paper. Ted, are you speaking for the, with the city or with the union? You didn't check either side. I have to make a choice to speak with the city mayor. Then you're up. You have three minutes. Thank you, Mayor. My name is Ted Nofbel. I live on Chickadee Drive. Boy, what a mess that the city has handed or created for the taxpayers of this city. We've got a monster created now that nobody understood when it was being formed. Nobody really understands it now, and nobody can control it. It's in the hand of the attorneys, and no matter what you do here tonight, you'll be lucky if you're not in court. Uh, tomorrow over this uh, this pension plan. The issue here as I see it is is not uh, about whether or not the firefighters perform a valuable service. They do. They absolutely perform a valuable service. But, but that's not the end of it. There are issues of affordability and of fairness. And the fairness comes in in that uh, by and large defined benefit pensions only exist in the public sector today. They're not wide in the private sector simply because we can't afford them but yet government is going to try and continue on with something that the private sector by and large has abandoned for uh, for economy reasons uh, the other issue then is fairness and and as a taxpayer i have a problem with a with a relatively young man 45 or 50 years old uh, retiring on 60 or 70 thousand dollars worth of pension when every day of the week we can go to Publix or Winn-Dixie and see 75-year-old men bagging groceries, and they're not bagging it for fun. If we come back to the affordability uh, of, of this, uh, this issue here, you've got a, an average comp in, in Port Orange for an average employee of 73,000, average comp of a firefighter of 99,000. Those numbers are unsustainable. We can't go forward with those, just we can't. A $60,000 30-year pension with a COLA costs upwards of a million and a half dollars. To reach that million and a half dollar level, you need contributions of about $33,000 a year for 25 years. That would be hard to achieve in the private sector. But we're not even talking about the private sector. We're talking about the public sector, where every dollar you spend first has to be extracted from someone out in the private sector. And the private sector, as I said, has by and large uh, given up on it. The city has got debt right now of anywhere between 150 and 200 million dollars. 
It's costing the city about $40,000 a day or $14.5 million a year in debt service payments. And the pension situation is part of it. And it has to be, uh, it has to be changed, uh, Mayor. The two proposals, as I see it, Union and City, I, I would call them a fast bleed out and a slow bleed out. If we go with the Union, we will bleed out in a hurry and go bankrupt in a hurry. The City proposal will extend, but not, uh, not eliminate the problem, as near as I can see it. So what is the City going to do to ultimately solve these, the problems that they have with these, uh, these unions? How, what is the ultimate solution here? I don't see it in, in uh, certainly the union proposal or in the city proposal. But I certainly have one, and I would encourage council to bring the pay as a solution, bring the pay of the Port Orange firefighters in line with what the county firefighters 